Welcome to the backhand push video. You can see here that once again the swing is mainly uh, from the elbow joint, uh, just a small swing forward. The right shoulder is brought forward a little bit just to give some room for the swing and really using the same stance uh, for the forehand and backhand counter hits with the right foot placed backwards a little bit. You'll see a little bit of adjusting of the feet which is just natural. Uh, with the backhand push, the swing forward there and a little bit of movement of the upper arm to get the elbow into position. Although the upper arm movement doesn't really add to the swing itself so much as the little bit of straightening of the forearm. Contact here made slightly in front of the left foot, well in front of the body as you can see from a side view perspective and if we take a look at the racket angle in this uh, very slow motion starting in the ready position right shoulder coming forward elbow coming in front of the body bat back to around the toes and the swing is mainly horizontal perhaps a little bit down with the bat, bat angle being very open and we'll just see that again here elbow comes forward a little bit, bat back, you can see the bat angle being maintained through the stroke and the bat just turns naturally around the elbow joint. So for as long as possible the bat is swung through the flight path of the ball until you get to that point where just naturally because of the way your, your arm hinges, or hinges around the elbow the bat now just swings out to the right of the player. And again, the player watches the ball all the way through onto contact. And we'll just go to a front view perspective. Again, as with the backhand counter hit, you can see that the free arm really doesn't do much, just acts as a balance. The bat gets taken back right into the path of the ball. The swing is, is short, it's compact, but not uh, jerky. You still want to be smooth, even though it's not a, a big extended swing. Uh, the follow through could be a little bit, not so much a follow through, but the recovery could be a bit further. The follow through stops there, and the recovery would be nicer if I actually took it just a few inches further so that the bat actually pointed uh, more or less straight out, following my uh, perpendicular to my shoulders. I, I'm still staying a little bit in the backhand um, position with the racket there. And as you can see, not an excessive swing. The racket's going right behind the ball. So again, not very much chance of missing the ball unless I get a bad bounce. And just a very uh, small swing. And now just looking at it in the very slow motion, you can see that I'm watching the ball all the way through to contact. The elbow again, held well to the side of the body. You can see that my right elbow there is clear of the body giving me contact again around about the middle of the body to left hip somewhere around that area and now just watching the ball come through again the right shoulder comes forward the elbow goes out to the side and swinging forwards with the tilted bat and now naturally just letting the racket come up as it follows through around my elbow joint of my forearm, finishing in a nice balanced position for the next shot.